And we're gonna go over this blue screen error. You turn on your computer and you get this nasty little blue screen that says inaccessible boot device. So first thing I'm gonna have you do is turn off that computer if you're in some sort of restart or boot loop. Leave your computer completely off and you're gonna hit the power button and then immediately start tapping on F2 to enter your BIOS options. Because once we're in BIOS, we're gonna configure your storage settings because this improperly, uh, improperly set storage settings is the number one cause for this particular blue screen error. So we're gonna click, once I zoom in so you guys can see a little better, uh, you're gonna click on the storage tab and what you need to do is under the SATA operations, you need to try each one of these to see which configuration your, your solid state drive or hard drive is supposed to have. So that means select the next one, like for me that's radon, and I hit yes, and then I hit apply changes and try restarting my computer to make sure I have the correct SATA operation set up. And so when you would try each one of these and restart and see if that blue screen error goes away. Now under boot configuration, this is another thing to try. Make sure that Windows Boot Manager is set to the top or that your hard drive or solid state drive is set to the top in the boot sequence and make sure that secure boot is enabled. Now, once you've seen that all these things are done, you can go ahead and exit. And if you change anything, make sure you hit that apply changes button that we used earlier. Now you're gonna see on restart how after making that one simple change of, chain of configuring um, the storage settings, it's going to work. Uh, first, it's gonna try diagnosing your PC. This is not a big deal. This is from the last restart era. Y your computer automatically does it based on it not booting before. As you can see, it didn't work. We're gonna restart it because at this point, there's nothing to repair because we actually fixed the issue. So if you restart it and you go ahead and do it again after changing those BIOS settings to now being properly set for the right kind of configuration for your solid state drive or hard drive, now as you can see, I booted up with no blue screen error. Now, moving right along, if your computer this doesn't work for, we're gonna to go to the next step in the troubleshooting process. So at this point, if your computer works, great, good for you. Uh, that means that you fixed the issue. Now for the next person, if this didn't work for you, now we're gonna to go to the next step in what to do in the troubleshooting method. Okay, so now you're gonna use your mouse, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna power off that computer yet again, and we are going to use what your Dell came with, something beautiful, it's your built-in diagnostic software that a lot of people don't know is a great feature of Dell. So what you're gonna do is hit the power button and immediately start tapping on F12 so we can access that diagnostic software. And from here, I'm going to select diagnostics under preboot tasks and it's just going to go ahead and it's going to start testing all my hardware because this can actually be a um, issue with your solid state drive or your hard drive it's less likely than the set of uh, bio settings but it does happen so we're going to test now for me all my tests were successful so if this is your scenario where everything passed, then the next step in the troubleshooting process would try to reinstall the operating system. So I have my USB here for reinstalling Windows and there's a link down below with a video on how to reinstall Windows uh, 11. Now, if you found that your hard drive or solid state drive failed, in that case with the diagnostic, then you would have to go ahead and replace that hard drive or solid state drive uh, with a new one and reinstall Windows. We have a link down below on how to do that. Is a, people sometimes panic when their hard drive or solid street drive, drive dies, but it's actually a relatively easy repair. And we walk you through the steps if you go down in the description and you find that uh, link then you can easily replace that hard drive or solid state drive. But anyway, if you found this video in any way helpful, please like, subscribe, use that super thanks button, visit our Amazon store, or check out our merchandise. Thanks, and from one egghead to another egghead, this is Liz signing out.